was intending on having bangs. <laughs> but it looks like I need a trim. Oh, I can't see. In a previous video, I showed you how to make this Scottish Highland Renaissance bodice. This video is all about the adorable felt hat. I will not be including the coif underneath, but let me know in the comments if you would like a tutorial on that. But first, I want to correct some historical assumptions. Certain sewing patterns would have us believing that the traditional Renaissance Highland garb included a plaid muffin hat or tam. However, historical studies of Irish and Scottish fashion during the Elizabethan era reveals that they wore a wide variety of head coverings, such as felt hats in various shapes with linen underneath or linen veils and head wraps. Sadly, I had to remake the hat in this video because I didn't use a hat pin to secure it to my head and it blew off in the wind, never to be seen again. This is a felt blank that you can just you know, uh, put over forms and uh, so the idea, I'm definitely going to need to trim it, the idea, but it's supposed to be high up in the end and then like come to a low point, like a little tip like this, but it's actually supposed to be smaller so I think I need to trim this a bit, that's probably what I need to do. Probably a good. This is fine. I probably need to trim it from. Oh, this feels good. From like here. Just do a nice little. Something like that. Okay. So it's been trimmed. Let me try this again. Yeah, another reason why I'll want to stiffen it so I can get that nice point here. I might wet it and set it. That's getting to about to be what I want it to be. Basically what I'm going to do, this is watered down Elmer's. Usually kind of eyeball it. I'm sorry I don't have an exact recipe. Some people also use um, liquid starch to do this this job is another way to do it but this is what I used in the pirate video except for in the pirate video I fully submerged my hat piece in or painted it you know I just totally like saturated it which honestly made it a little too stiff and I just want to stiffen this a little bit so I'm just gonna whoop, let's not get that all over my sewing machine brush and just get it in there more. This will all just dry clear. It will be just fine. I'm always someone who uses my hands for stuff. I am just that kind of person. Other reason why I don't want to saturate this is because I don't have like half a week to let it dry. I just don't. I have a couple of days and some of that time is going to be in the car. Usually those bottles like cost sometimes like 30 bucks for hat stiffener and it really is i do the same thing with just an Elmer's glue. I wish I could get this to point more without just totally crimping it. But I don't have a hat form, so... Is it the way around that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like I've killed it. This might help too. Two inches. Two inches, cool. 
Now let it dry overnight to 24 hours, depending on how much glue you used, and you're done. If you want to see how I made the bodice, check out this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Happy crafting, and don't forget to subscribe.